NASA is now one giant leap closer to sending humankind back to the moon. Its Orion spacecraft splashed down today after traveling more than one million miles through space and orbiting the moon. The set, the sights now set higher. The Artemis 1's Orion spacecraft splashing down in the Pacific Ocean Sunday afternoon off the coast of Baja, California. Splash down. You don't celebrate till you see it splash down. You've known that that heat shield works and those parachutes work. Flight engineers used a so-called skip entry where the spacecraft traveling at 25,000 miles per hour hits the Earth's atmosphere, skipping off of it like a rock on a lake, then re-entering and splashing down. This whole mission has just been unbelievable. It's, it's been so almost perfect. Of course, there are a lot of things that go wrong, but they know how to fix them. So they've been able to add test in the course of the 25 day mission. This skip maneuver lessens the G forces astronauts are subjected to during re-entry, minimizing recovery time. With this particular uh, spacecraft, now we're going to be able on our next launch to put our crew members on board. So this is a huge day for us. NASA says new technology that was not available in the 1960s and 70s will enable them to learn more than they could during the Apollo missions. What we're trying to do is understand what it's like to live on another planetary body before we go on to Mars. If all goes as planned, the next flight will be Artemis II in 2024, which would have four astronauts on board for a lunar flyby. Then Artemis III, tentatively slated for 2025, which would fulfill NASA's goal of putting a woman and a person of color on the surface of the moon. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.